Hello, people. Welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Phone Jones. What is it? Yes, In the Kitchen with Phone Jones. So, what I'm making tonight is macaroni and cheese on the stove. Now, I'm going to be using all the ingredients as what I will be using for baked macaroni and cheese. The only thing I'm going to subtract is the block cheese. So I'm going to be, I'm going to use my canned cheese, my cheddar cheese soup. I'm going to use my shredded cheeses. Okay. And I already have my cheese melted down. So let me show you real quick what's in here. That looks good. That's my melted cheese, guys. That's my melted cheese. Okay? That's my melted cheese. I was trying to show you guys, see if you can see it in here, but I guess not. I have to put my camera down. But I'll, I'll you'll, you'll see it. I can be so, a cameraman. That's my melted cheese. And you want it to get nice and... um. It's, gonna, it's not going to be soupy, but it's going to turn into liquid form because when you put the, the, the canned cheese in here, it's like kind of like thick. So it melts down into this. I add my, my margarine and I add my milk in here. And I use 1% um, milk in this cheese. Okay. Now, what, what other steps I'm going to take as well is I'm going to also... Um, let me fix this stupid camera. I'm going to also, matter of fact, I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry, it took a, a little minute. Okay, so. What's I talking about? Oh, the cheese. So now I'm going to take my cheese and I'm going to add it into my pot of cheese. Can't see it, but you'll see it in a minute. I'm going to add into that. Turn my stove off because you don't want to burn your cheese. You don't want it to be all nasty and filthy and stuff like that. So I'm going to add this cheese in here. And all it's doing is making my sauce extra cheesy. And it does thicken it up a little bit. So. And so I'm going to stir this in really good. Let me bring it over here. Stir this in so it can melt in nicely. Give it a good mix. And because the cheese sauce is really hot, it's gonna melt in no time. Okay. You, you know, this is a really good, it's a simple, the kids do want macaroni and cheese. And they love my baked macaroni and cheese, but it's too hot to put that oven on. I can't do it. Even with the AC, it's too hot to put the oven on. So I said, you know what? Let me just do it on top of the stove. So instead of buying like the Kraft's macaroni and cheese, um, I said, well, I have some elbow macaroni. I have some cheddar cheese soup. I have milk. I have shredded cheese. Let's get it popping on the stove. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I've also made crock pot macaroni and cheese, which is excellent. So now we got our cheese, it's nicely blended. Let me see if I can give you a little view of what I'm talking about here. See that? I think you can see it, yeah. Uh-oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, my closet door fell off, so now they gotta come fix it. Ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Are we straight now? All right, I think we are straight. Or a little wonky. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this. Well, I think that's fine. But anyways, so you saw my cheddar cheese soup. And I gave it a good stir. Now, what else I'm going to add is my mozzarella cheese in here. 
it's going to give it a different flavor. Mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese taste differently. So when you melt it down together, it does give it, it tastes layered. Taste, you taste the cheddar cheese first and then you taste the mozzarella. The mozzarella cheese is usually what holds it together, what makes it stick. I usually call it sticky cheese. So I just put like a half a bag in here. I never measure anything. I feel like when you're a good cook, you don't need to measure. You just eyeball everything. That's at least what my grandmother told me. My mom and my grandmother told me. When you can cook and you know how to measure with your eyes, that means you got it going on. So I guess I got it going on sometimes. Okay, and you just give this a good stir as well. And the cheese is going to thicken up. You need to stir and stir and stir. That's Shady Grady. He was outside smoking and drinking his coffee because he just came home from work. Oh, y'all see him later on the other channel. All I can say is the nasty sailor mouth. Okay. So now the cheese is getting thick. And all you do is let it set and get your noodles. Can't play it too loud because they didn't want to play your video. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Get the noodles together, which I already did. You already done. Blah, blah, blah. Bring my good old Rachel Ray pot over here, who I've had for three years. It's time for some new pots. I'm going to put my noodles in this pot. And it's good for the noodles to stay warm because it helps. With the cheese, combines the cheese and then everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my ingredients in this bowl. I'm going to go ahead and pour this cheese in this pot, and I will get back to you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, so here we have it. I mixed all my ingredients in my noodles, my elbow macaroni. And then I mix all the cheese, all the sauce in it, so it's covered really nicely. Then I add the, the rest of the mozzarella cheese in there and I mix it around. You still gonna see pieces in there because it's not melted. I added some more of my Velveeta um, cheddar cheese, um, shredded cheddar cheese in there. I also add a little bit in there, mix it around. What? Oh. And then I just topped it off with some more cheese. Let me see if you can see it. And then I'm gonna put the cover on this and let it sit on a low heat for like 20, I'll say about 20 minutes. That's how long it takes for the cheese to melt all through. And I will show you the finished product at the end of this video. So it's simple, quick and easy. We're gonna have some chicken with this tonight and some vegetables and that is it for tonight. So guys, you have a great night. Look out for my tag video. I was tagged by Lala and Dollar, aka Midlife Madness. Not Midlife Crisis. Midlife Madness, I think it is. But anyway, the eclectic crap. They both the same people. I just found that out a couple of, like a month ago. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. And at the end of this video, you will see the finished product. Have a great day. Bye.